starts we send now. out mail notifications and the neighbors will find out and they don't want the exposure. Tracking down sex offenders in Mahoning County. It is our stop, top story tonight at 6. There are about 300 people, men and women in Mahoning County, who have been convicted of a sex crime where they are required to give their address to the sheriff. But not all of them follow the rules. As 27 First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us, the sheriff is warning those who fail to register they're risking arrest and being sent to prison. It's been a productive couple months for the detective assigned to finding convicted sex offenders living in Mahoning County who haven't registered. We're keeping up on it and uh, we know that we're close to 100% compliant uh, with these registrations, which is our goal. Since February, Will Harris has identified nearly a dozen convicted offenders who have not registered their address with the sheriff as a requirement of their sentences in sex cases. Harris tells me many times residents will spot the offenders through a public website that lists those convicted of such crimes. They'll call in and say, I live in this neighborhood, whatever the case may be, and they'll say the person's name because they recognize them. A year ago, deputies first teamed up with the local U.S. Marshals Task Force to round up 18 unregistered offenders in what was called Operation Safe Check. Since then, the sheriff's office has continued the effort. I do random home checks, and we come up with people not doing what they're supposed to do. A lot of it could be complacency, laziness, not wanting to be known for what they were charged with before. The sheriff tells me there are close to 300 convicted sex offenders in the county. He says nationally, the average for non-compliance is close to 11 percent. Locally, only John Hall Jr. has not been apprehended, and authorities believe he's left the area. We're going to stay after them. We're going to stay on their heels, and uh, you know we're going to arrest as many, as many of them and indict as many of them as possible. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.